hello everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're here for the first time hi my name is busa Rimaliayo and i'm a registered nurse living and practicing in nigeria and in today's video i am going to be simplifying how blood flow should act let's get into it so before i start the description of how blood flows in the art i'm going to give you some tiny 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 tips to help you to remember when you're describing the blood flow to the heart the first thing is that the heart has two sides you have the left side and the right side the right side is concerned with blood going to the lungs to get oxygen while the left side is concerned about blood going into your body that's tip one number two is that when you're describing the blood flow to the heart you start describing from the right side to the left side you're going from r to l another thing you should remember is that blood enters the atrium first before it gets into the ventricles remember there are four chambers in the heart you have the right atrium the left atrium the right ventricle and the left ventricle blood enters the atrium before the ventricle another thing i want you to remember is that when it comes to the valves between the two um, atriums and ventricle the first valve that you have to discuss is the tricuspid valve while the second valve is the bicuspid valve so remember this that when you go to the market and you want to buy a pair of shoes you are going to try it on before you buy the shoe so you try before you buy okay so now that we're done with the tips let's talk about how blood flows through the heart so the first thing is that the oxygenated blood that is blood that the body has used of the oxygen that it contains comes into the right atrium through the superior vena cava and inferior vena cava the dump into the right atrium so now they've gotten into the right atrium the next place they are going is to the right ventricle so they go through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle now that it is into the ventricle the next place is going is to the lungs to get oxygen so the blood goes through the right ventricle to the pulmonary artery through what is called the pulmonic valve remember that anything pulmonary pulmonic is referring to the respiratory system the lungs yeah so it goes through the pulmonic valve into the pulmonary artery remember that in the body the only artery that carries the oxygenated blood is the pulmonary artery and the only vein that carries oxygenated blood is the pulmonary vein but they are referred to as arteries and veins because pulmonary artery carries blood away from the heart so that qualifies it as an artery although it is carrying the oxygenated blood which is a popular characteristics of the veins while the pulmonary vein is carrying blood towards the heart like most vein does but it is carrying blood that contains oxygen so always remember that so you don't mix those two vessels up so like i was saying the blood goes from the right ventricle to the pulmonic valve into the pulmonary artery and goes to the lungs so when the blood gets to the lungs they are filled up with oxygen and now they are ready for use by the body cells and tissues so now when they come back to the heart through the pulmonary vein they are going to the left side of the heart so the pulmonary vein empties its contents into the left atrium remember the atrium first before the ventricle so it enters the left atrium and go through the bicuspid valve into the left ventricle left atrium left ventricle then it is time for the blood to go to the rest of the body and it has to go through the structure called the aorta so it goes from the left ventricle through what is called the aortic valve you know it's going to the aorta so it's passing to the aortic valve notice the similarities in the words it goes through the aortic valve into the aorta and the aorta pumps the blood to the rest of the body now let's go over that blood comes from the superior and inferior vena cava into the right atrium to the right ventricle through the tricuspid valve then goes to the pulmonary artery through the pulmonic valve to the lungs where it gets oxygen and returns to the heart through the pulmonary vein 
enters the left atrium and the content goes into the left ventricle through the bicuspid valve and through the aortic valve into the aorta where it goes to the rest of the body i hope you understand how i describe the blood flow through the heart and i'll see you in my next video bye